Hello everyone and welcome to episode 53 of the TW2020 UJPW series here on the channel. So it is the October Giant series as we are almost at the end of 1997. We have a giant October tour to get through and then we'll be on to the uh, Real World Tag League. Before you know it, we'll be in 1998. As, uh, yeah, I mean, money right now is sitting pretty tight. Uh, you know, I really have no idea what to upgrade but to improve because really there's nothing you really can do. Uh, cause, like, as far as investments go, like, you can't, like, have your own broadcast, cause that just wouldn't make any sense. Cause, like, I wanna keep this close to, you know, real life as I can. And, uh, you know, obviously it'd just be internet stuff, and <laughs> it's 1997. Uh, no, no one's, uh, dialing up on old AOL to try to get the, uh, the internet free to, uh, free to play. Or free to air, rather, uh, eye pay per views. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's just it's not gonna work. It's just not not in the cards for us. Oh, but you know, right now I think at sixty five million, that's that's a pretty solid, as far as pretty solid point. Uh, we were for a hot minute, kind of just making like a million, uh, a, a month, which I don't know what happened to where we jumped up from four to five, but I'll take it. It was like merchandise and ticket sales actually, so that's cool. Oh yeah, I know what it was. Yeah, because we actually like. We forgot to pick the venue. <laughs> we ended up running in like 80,000 people. Yeah. That's what it was. I get it now. Alright. Alright, so that's why. But, uh, yeah, for this October Giant series, uh, we will have a tournament throughout the tour. And the finals will conclude as uh, at the finals of this tour. As it's going to be a 16-man tournament. Here is the round of 16. Shinya Hashimoto versus Masahiro Chono, the former... Three Musketeers, I guess they still are the Three Musketeers, but obviously not teaming anymore. As uh, as far as the New World Order kicked Shinya Shimoto out of the group before it was even announced that they were a group. And uh, now they get to uh, collide here for Shinya Shimoto and Masahiro Chono. It's a great uh, chance for revenge there for Shinya Shimoto. As uh, you know, as far as that's, a, that's just a, a fun way, I think, to start off the tournament. Then we're going to have a big Van Vader, because the big Titan, the man who was gifted the All Asia Heavyweight title, but of course was taken away. Because, well, no one's going to be gifted the goddamn championship under Giant Baba's roof. But, you know, he at least gets his chance to win it fair and square. He just has to win this tournament. Uh, also going to have Hayabusa versus Masuki Chi. Uh, you know, as far as that's... You, know, you could say, you know, Junior Everweight Battle definitely is. As far as Fuchi kind of has a bit of the open weight gimmick going on where he can kind of work in a champion carnival. He can work in the best two juniors and it kind of flow like that, and uh, for Hayabusa, that's that's a really big opportunity for him as well, to be potentially an all-age heavyweight champion. It's very fun, versus Goji Kanemoto as well happened in, in the, I guess, first round, the round of 16. Stan Anton taking on uh, Takachi Azuka. that's a fun match, as we'll see how Stan Anton does in that one, as far as Azuka, that's a great opportunity to be a part of this round of 16. Dr. Steve Williams versus Johnny Smith, a little British Combat Club versus Miracle Violence Alliance there. Mike Awesome versus George, versus rather George Takano, and to round it up, Johnny Ace versus Jun Akiyama. And so, you know, as far as that will be happening basically throughout the tour, it's 11 days as far as like the actual tour shows, and the 12th day is the final show. And there's a tournament matchup on the first 10 of those days. So, uh, basically, throughout this entire tour, you'll be seeing an all Asia heavyweight title tournament matchup. So, that's fun. Uh, but yeah, now we can look at the card itself and some of the tour goals, which you see the All-Asia title you know, tournament matchup, the All-Asia. I guess we'll put heavyweight, just to make sure everybody knows. Uh, for nights 1 through 10, then for night 2, Kiritawe, Toshak Kawada, and Shinya Hashimoto taking on the NWO. And this is where Shinya Hashimoto will join the Holy Demon Army. Awesome. So what a great chance for Shin Hashimoto as far as joining the Holy Demon Army, getting them bigger as well. But also, I think that's a great kind of, as far as joining the, you could say, all Japan side of things, or the non-NWO side of things, and trying to make them bigger and stronger. I think it makes sense, you know, as far as from my perspective. Uh, the Night 3 is going to be a Super Generation Army 6-man, as I believe it's going to be uh, Masawa Kobashi and Koji Kanemoto. But be Seiyoshi Kaguchi. Uh, taking on Wild Pegasus, Dean Malenko, and Eddie Guerrero. That should be a banger there on night three. 
Night 4, Kiritawa and Ultimate Dragon against Kaiju Muto and the Great Sasuke. So obviously, the Unified Heavyweight and Unified Junior Heavyweight champions uh, teaming up to take on the challengers. That, that should be a fun Night 4 main event. And then for Night 8, we're basically taking both the All-Asia and the Tag Team Championship matches. Well, I mean, UJPW, rather, World Tag Team Champions. Colliding them in the one big-ass eight-man that's happening on Night 8. Hiroshiase, Kensuke Sasaki, Mitsuha Masawa, and Kendo Kobashi against the British Combat Club, Dean Malenko, and Wild Packers and Switch. That's a fun uh, Gaijin team there, that eight-man team of uh, the British Combat Club with Dean Malenko and Wild Packers. So that does rule. Uh, but for the, the card, you see there, obviously, Tally winning the Ricky Dozen Memorial Cup and winning the Royal Road Tournament. So he gets his title shot against Kaiji Muto. Ultimate Dragon, of course, winning uh, the Best Super Juniors. And uh, he finally gets his chance to take on the great Sasuke after getting screwed over in the Kaiji Muto All Asia Heavyweight title matchup that happened in the last episode. Of course, the UJPW World Tag Team title matchup, Wild Pegasus and Dean Malenko against Masao and Kobashi. Great matchup there. As I wanted to give, you know, Masao Kobashi as far as like a, a fresh challenger. And that's a, you know, as far as a team that dominated the junior tag team division looking to take a big step. You know, they're going to be a part of the. Uh, real world tag league again. So as far as looking ahead on and, and looking on the horizon, you know, Wild Pegasus and Dima Link are looking to make that jump to go from the junior scene to the heavyweight scene. And th there could be a massive jump there if they pull off the upset against Masao and Kobashi. Uh, so the All Asia title tournament finals, we're going to keep that a secret until we actually get to the finals. Uh, so that's going to be fun. You get to see throughout the tournament just how that's going to you know, be webbed and flowed throughout the, the, the uh, next 10 nights of shows. So that's going to be nice. As far as we rarely get to keep things uh, as far as uh, keeping them under, the, uh, under wraps. So it should be fun to kind of let it organically happen. In the All-Asia Tag Team title matchup with Hiroshi Asa and Kinsuke Sasaki against the British Combat Club. They have been champions now for over 365 days out of the British Combat Club. And uh, what a run they have had. Will it keep going into 1998 or will it stop here at Hiroshi Asa and Kensuke Saki? We shall see. Holy Demon Army versus the New World Order. This is a, I believe, an 8-man tag. Might be a 10-man tag, actually, but I believe it's an 8-man tag. I believe that is Hashimoto, Kawada, uh, Masato Tanaka, Masopuchi. Oh, it might be Ogawa, too, now I'm thinking about it. And then, uh, for the New World Order, Chono, Awesome, and I want to say Vader. I'm trying to think of the other people. But, oh, well, as far as you get it, the Holy Demon Army, New World Order, 8-man tag in the undercard. Then the Junior Boy Tag Team title matchup, Shudo, which is going to be Nuki Sano and Kazuya Masaki taking on Jushin Liger now somewhere. Like that should be... Quite the junior tag match, actually. I'm excited to see how that plays out. And then the opener, big-ass eight-man tag. Harry Funk, Big Titan, Scott Norton, Brad Armstrong taking on Los Bravano, which will be the Headhunters, Vampiro, and should be Damien, as far as for that to make up the eight-man matchup. I'm, I'm actually excited to see this card. I think top to bottom, it's one of our better shows. So there's really not a bad match on it. Obviously, when you're you know five years under a save, that should happen. You know, that should be a bit of a normal stance. But uh, I think we really are you know, cooking with gas right now. And we're really stepping into our A game for sure. Hopefully we get some hundreds in this series. But yes, on 2 night 1, everything's pre-booked. So we just have to kind of plug and play. Uh, so the two All-Asia Heavyweight uh, title tournament matches. Of course, Hashimoto and Chono and Big Van Vader and Big Titan. We'll have this be the main, though, Hashimoto and Chono, as Hashimoto's going to beat him right before the 30-minute mark. Major win for Hashimoto. I'm trying to think if they've even had a singles, but they have. They had a G1 match in New Japan, which I was on 99, so that's pretty sick. And that's the last time I think they faced off against each other, now I'm thinking about it. Oh, nope. They had the uh, Chamber of Audible matchup in 1995. That was only a 75. I wonder what happened there. I'm assuming because that was a tour show and the other one was a normal show. Then the Champion Carnival last year, Chono beat him. So it looks like they're 1-1 one one in UJPW. So that's fun. Uh, but Ashimoto getting the win. Massive win. For Shinya Ashimoto. As far as the co-main, 
do like this Ultimate Dragon Super Astro Sasuke 2 Cold Scorpio matchup. Ultimate Dragon is going to be 2 Cold Scorpio there in the co main. Uh, then we'll have big ass 8 man here. Uh, you know, this could honestly be, be the co main as well as the, so the junior tag team challengers and the all Asia tag team challengers teaming up and then an 8 man against the champions of the all Asia tag team champions and the junior heavyweight tag team champions. As Nuki Sawa is going to beat El Samurai there. So that's going to be fun to see the challengers, you know, and that's why also Shudo are getting a title match as well, is because of this matchup. So I believe, I would say the best bet is to go with the Big Van Vader, Big Titan matchup here. Which Big Van Vader will win in 20 minutes. Then we'll have Hayabusa and Jensei Shinzaki against Masu Fuchi and Yoshinaga Ogawa. So Ogawa is going to beat Jensei Shinzaki. Little junior tag matchup. Scott Norton and Brad Armstrong against Damien and Vampiro. Except for Steelers Show's Brad Armstrong's going to beat Damien there. Then our uh, Young Lion matches. Uh, we'll have... Probably we'll go with Golden King and Machizuki. First, the singles matchup, I believe, for the Golden King here. Let me just take a look. Could have swore, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, his debut was at the finals, yeah. So yeah, this is a big big debut as far as in the singles range there. And Dikei Amori obviously going to beat Kazuki Vegeta. Oh, we're... Um, Six minutes off. Huh. Let's see. I'm trying to think what I could cut. I really don't know. I guess we'll cut some time off this, to be honest. Cut, up, cut that down to six. We can cut that down to about 19. Oh, yeah. Now we still need one more. We'll cut that down to 19 as well. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I guess we're going to run the uh, Nakajima Sports Center here for day one. Let's run the show. 51 for the opener. Yeah, not great. Not great. Actually, a poor way to start off the show, actually, which is surprising. Uh, but the K.O. Mori, with the Lariat win, he had a 58. I'm very surprised, actually, uh, how poorly that went. Golden King versus Machizuki. Golden King. Oh, that's got to be with a golden kick. we got to change that. <laughs> As Machizuki uh, was really off his game, it doesn't matter, because, you know, Golden King does his thing. Gets the one with the golden kick. Bart Armstrong and Scott Norton. Beating a Damian and Vampiro as Brad Armstrong was off his game, but still best guy in the match. Side rush and leg sweep from Brad Armstrong over Damian. Not a bad little matchup there. 77 for uh, Jinsei Shinzaki and Ibusa against Ogawa and Fuchi. Right team wins as Ogawa pinning Jinsei Shinzaki in 18 minutes. Then Vader and Titan as Vader with the Vader bomb in 1928. Big beefy men slapping meat is what that was. Eight man tag. 74. Not bad at all. Yeah, that was actually a really good match. It probably could have been a little bit better. Just kind of looking at uh, the ratings there. Because just about everybody ranged around the high 70s, low 80s. And then you had uh, Liger and Steven Regal at 88 and 84. The Yamasaki and El Samurai were the only guys that were, you know, sub 75. So I really don't get that. But hey, well, at least we have a solid little matchup. And at 80, I'm glad we went with this as the co-main. Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro, killing it here. As they beat Sasuke and Two Cold Scorpio. Ultimo Dragon with the Asai DDT on Two Cold Scorpio, who struggled a little bit in this matchup, but they weren't going to outperform. Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro, just was not happening. Then an 82 for our main event as Hashimoto with the Jumping Spike DDT over Masahiro Chono in 28 minutes. Oh, well, an 81, I mean, we'll take it. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Can't believe we almost gained popularity in the. Uh, in, in uh, the Canada regions. Didn't expect that. Yeah, solid first day of the tour. Definitely have room to improve, but also, you know, could be worse. We could have had everybody injured in, <laughs> on the card. But yeah, on to night two, we go. Alrighty, night two. Yeah, so let's see, they got us somewhere in Chubu. Yeah, we'll probably run, yeah, the Nagata City Gymnasium there. That just seems to be for the best. As a, yes, so the tournament matches. So they have Hayabusa and Fuchi and Terry Funk and Koji Kanemoto. Those are, those are pretty fun, though. But yeah, I think this is, you know, this makes sense to have the debut as far as with Hashimoto joining the Holy Demon Army for the first time. But basically, we want this to not be official is the plan. The first time, it's just it, it's kind of like a happenstance like teaming. But it, it's after this matchup where it's like all right this this worked well 
this should be official type of thing. But it's going to be a draw, the first matchup. 60, uh, or 60 minutes, 30 minutes time on the draw there for that matchup. As I think that's best case scenario, honestly. Uh, because I, I just think nobody should lose in that match, to be honest. Fuchido is going to beat Hayabusa to advance him to the second round of the tournament. Terry Funk and Koji Kanemoto will be the next tournament matchup, which Terry Funk's going to win, beating Koji Kanemoto. That was a tough one as far as what should be the uh, co-main there. I just like both those matches. And then uh, Stan Hansen, Johnny Ace, against Drew Nakayama and K.O. Mori. Hansen's going to beat K.O. Mori in 20 minutes. We will then go with, I guess, Doc and Taz against the British Combat Club of uh, Johnny Smith. In Steve Regal, as Johnny Smith's going to beat Taz. Another 20-minute matchup. The Kano Brothers against Hideki Ozaka and Satoru Ozaka. We need a Steel the Joe matchup, so it looks like it's going to be this. As uh, Shunji Kano's going to get the win over Hideki Ozaka. And Satoru Ozaka doesn't matter which one loses. So then we have uh, the Young Lion matches. Terry Gordy versus Ogawa. I guess I'll throw that on first. Terry Gordy's going to get the win in 10 minutes. Maybe not. Maybe we should have, you know, Minoru Tanaka and Teokia follow that, actually. I think it's for the best. 14 minutes. I really don't feel like cutting it. So let's just um, give him some extra time. Let's give him 2 hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, that works. Works for me. All right. Let's run it. Yeah, 51. Glad we had this open up the show. Terry Gordy with a backdrop driver. He definitely is not the Terry Gordy of old. You know, he's not the UWF era Terry Gordy. Definitely not the world class era Terry Gordy. And... Not even, you know, prime Miracle Vines connection, Terry Gordy. You know, it, it, and which is kind of, you know, it's cool because in real life, obviously, he, at this point, also because of the, uh, the seizure, was it? Or, or was it, it, it happened during a plane uh, fly, uh, or plane fly, a plane ride uh, from America to Japan on one of his, uh, before one of his tours. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was a seizure. Either way. It, like, fucked up here, Terry Gordy, like, for basically to the end of his life. He was not the same Terry Gordy. You know, that was, that was definitely a difference. And uh, it, it sucks that that happened. But luckily, you know, in, in this, he's still good to go. But he is just not performing to the level he used to be. But the Minoru Tanaka beating Dale Kia with the Minoru Special. In 943, nice little matchup there. Minoru Tanaka with a 65, that's nice to see. 63 for the Kano brothers against Hideki Osaka and Satoru Osaka. So that's not actually bad for Satoru Osaka and Hideki Osaka. I know those guys, they were uh, you know, supposed to be the future, you know, four years ago when we were booking them. But now, they didn't really pan out. So now they're just kind of in the undercard. It is what it is. It's unfortunate, but Hideki Osaka at least I think still has something Potentially, but Sadora Zako, I don't know. It feels like he's just been going downhill. Uh, but Doc and Taz losing to the British Combat Club with Johnny Smith and, T and uh, Steven Regal, which is crazy because Smith and Regal's actually not even a bad team. It's just obviously Norman and, and Regal's the better team, but not a bad performance at all. Is uh, Johnny Smith with the Death Rally Bomb over Taz in 20 minutes? Johnny Ace of Stan Anson beating Takeo Mori in June Akiyama, not a bad match here as well. As Stan Anson with the arm bar. Over to Takeo Mori, how about that? 1943. 77 for Terry Funk and Koji Kanemoto. 72 for both guys. Couldn't win either way here, but went with the Funker. Leaves Terry Funk. Glad we went with this match as the co-main. As a Hayabusa with the better performance, but loses. Out to Masa with Chi to the STF in 22-02. Solid little matchup there. Uh, uh, yeah, did better than this. Better than the six-man here of uh, what will be the future Holy Demon Army, but right now it's just Holy Demon Army and Shinya Hashimoto against the New World Order. 30 minute time limit draw. I think that's for the best. I think that's for the best, because not only are we building, you know, off of what happened with New World Order and kicking out Shinya Hashimoto, but also, you know, we just had the Hashimoto Chono matchup, and now we'll have the Vader Hashimoto matchup in the next round. So we're building. Building there. A nice little show, and yeah, we get basically the same rating as Night 1. Not bad at all. As on to night three, we go. Alrighty, night three. I get this at the Komazawa Gymnasium. Kaishimoto wants to put over Junakiyama. Well, that rules. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Has, uh, yeah, it looks like we'll just run the Hiroshima Sun Plaza. No big deal. Uh, so the tournament matches. So we have uh, Steve Williams and Johnny Smith and uh, Stan Hansen and Azuka. 
probably go with uh, Steve Williams and Johnny Smith, to be honest, because I think this match will rule, and Steve Williams is going to beat him. 24 minutes, advancing to the next round. And we have the six-man of Eddie Dean and Wild Pegasus against Seoshi Kikuchi, Kenikobashi, and Mitsurama Sawas. Kikuchi's going to beat Eddie Guerrero there in 20 minutes. Tough break for Eddie and Dean and Eddie, but... Uh, well, I guess Eddie Dean and Wild Pegasus, but... Uh, tough break. Tough break. But, you know, it's still early in the tournament. Or, in the tournament. In the tour. So a lot could still happen. Now yeah, we'll add the Stan Hansen Azuka match. Stan is going to beat him in 20 minutes. A big match, though, for Azuka. About time he gets a big match. We've been slacking. Uh, then we'll go with... It's tough. It's tough, because we got the Fantastic against the Blonde Squad in a six-man. Jericho's going to beat him in 10 minutes. We'll have this just be Steeler Show, just in case we need one. So we got Big Titan and Scott Norton against... Okay, this, so this was set for Steeler Show. That's okay. We'll just have this be a regular matchup. Big Titan... And Scott Norton are going to beat the Miracle Violence Alliance team, though if Terry Gordy and Taz is big tight, it's going to be Terry Gordy in 10 minutes. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Then the Headhunters against Choshu and Ishii. Yeah, I think everybody knows how that one's going to play out, as the Headhunters will win. So then we'll have Tenzan and Kojima take on Young Lions. Here's Tenzan's going to beat Kazuki Vegeta. Then Kojima's going to beat Togi Makabe. Good shit there. So night three in the books. Let's run it. 44 for the opener. Jesus Christ. Toki Makabe with a 15. Brutal. But Kojima with the Lariat. And picking up the win in 9.46. Yeah, Makabe's got a ways to go. That is for sure. Ways to go. But at least Kazuki Vegeta's getting a little bit better. As Tenzan the Tenzan Tombstone Driver in 10 minutes. Tenzan getting the win in 60, uh, with a 66 there. Not bad. Not bad. It was a lot better than the opener. Head on her. Carrying Tomer Ishii and Ricky Choshu to a Decent little matchup here. Diving leg drop from head on her B onto Ishii. Yeah, it sucks how bad Ishii is in this. Hopefully we get him rocking and rolling, but it is not looking good. There's a big Titan and Scott Norton beating the Terry Gordian Taz team. They were the better team. Right decision. Exploder suplex win for Big Titan over Terry Gordy. Not bad. Big Titan, best guy in the match, too, with a 70. Not bad at all. 75. For the six man of the Fantastics against the Blonde Squad. Lion Damer from Chris Jericho. He was the worst guy in the match. So, probably should have a Candido win. Tough break. Tough break there. But the Lion Tamer win, though, is nice to see. Bob Thornton was off his game, too, and he was still the best guy for the Fantastics. It's an 80 for Stan Anson Azuka, the Brazos Valley backbreaker for Stan Anson in 20 minutes. Not bad at all. Not a bad submission win at all for Stan Hansen. 87 over the six man. I love seeing this. As, uh, yeah, Masamu Kobashi. Just crushing it there. But, yeah. Seosh Kikuchi, I figured he was going to get outperformed. He does. Tough break. You know, because Eddie's been killing it. Same thing for Dean and Wild Pegasus. They've been just, uh, on a tear. And uh, it just kind of sucks that this could have been a big win for him. But there's still, you know, still more nights left in the tour. The main event, though, is an 85 is Steve Williams beating Johnny Smith with Backdrop Driver. Dox the man, and he proves it here, beating Johnny Smith in the first round. Yeah, solid show. Definitely the best show so far of the tour. It's going to be a tough one to top. That is for sure. As on to night four, we go. All right, well, they got us in the star lane, so we'll just go ahead and run there. Get a couple of backstations. Sounds wow. As Eddie was brought before Russ's court, he was moaning about stuff all the time, bumming on us out. Being a Debbie Downer, as the judge Stan Hansen found them guilty and sentenced to shut up or cheer up, my drinks got to the show. Well, some positive impact though on Eddie, so there it is as Tawai's passing on psychology tips to Masato Tanaka. What's Masato Kuchi doing? He wants to put over Big Titan. That can definitely be arranged. That can definitely be arranged. So the tournament matches. So I believe we're at the end of the round of 16 here. So, um, Yeah, we got Johnny Ace and Junakiyama, and then... Is it just Johnny Ace and Junakiyama? Hold on here. I thought there, there'd be two. Oh, yes. Mike Awesome and George Takano. I don't know why. Could, there it is. It's right there in the middle. So, we'll go ahead and add Johnny. Well, this is probably the main. Anyways, Tawai and Ultimo Dragon against Kaiji Budo and the Great Sasuke. As uh, Sasuke is going to be Ultimo Dragon. So, a big win for the champs. As they beat the challengers in 25 minutes. Hell yeah. 
I mean, Eddie and Kikuchi is actually a good match, so we'll go ahead and add that as well. A little fallout from, obviously, the six man and plus gives Eddie a win back after losing to him. And now we'll add, actually, yeah, Jun is going to beat Johnny Asa, so he's advancing in the next round. But this should probably be, the, you know, up there as well. Holy Demon Army, Kawada and Hashimoto against the New World Order as Hashimoto is going to beat Vader in 20 minutes. That will be the co now. Boy, what a show. So then Mike Awesome and George Takano. Mike Awesome is going to get the win in 20 minutes. Oh, so but that would do it now that he's still going to be tired. Ah, uh, yeah, then we'll have TTS against Shinsei Shinsaki in Hayabusa. Hayabusa is going to get the win for his team. Nice little bounce back match for him since they lost on the first night of the tour. Fuchino Gawa uh, beating, oh no, rather losing of the Holy Demon Army, losing to the New World Order of Tengoji. So we have, uh, you know, as far as two Holy Demon Army in uh, New World Order matches, but Tenzan, yes, getting the win over Yoshinara Gawa. Let's definitely bump this up. Yeah, we'll just bump it up one. Don't feel extremely confident, but I do feel confident about it, though. And then Shuji Kano is going to beat Mom and Yon. Or I guess Mom and Yone, rather. As, uh, and that's crazy. That's the only, like, Young Lion matchup on the card. So pretty light on the Young Lion stuff, but obviously the rest of the card is pretty, pretty stacked. I kind of feel like we should bump this down to about 16 with Mike Awesome and George Takano. He still is going to struggle with that. I, I just I actually think this will be better, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Um, I mean I don't think we should cut seven minutes to be honest. I guess we can cut a little bit off this, jump that down to six, and uh, we'll chop this down to eighteen. And then I guess we'll just chop this down to nine. All right, or nickel <laughs> nickel and diamond are away. <laughs> Through this tour, but we'll get there. Yeah, the Star Lane should be sold out. Yeah, that's good to know. We're gonna go. All right, we're on the show. Uh, Shinji Takano beating Marlon Yone in 535. Short little matchup there. 66 for uh, the TTS team against Jin Station Saki and Hayabusa. So that's interesting because, yeah, I mean, Minoru Tanaka with a swollen calf muscle. They do have excellent chemistry. They look like pretty good out there. It's just, you know, Hayabusa's. At a whole other level right now. He gets in with the Falcon Arrow over Minoru Tanaka in 928. Solid junior tag match, though. 65, yeah, for Mike Awesome, George Takano. George Takano's the shits. <laughs> I believe he is over the hill. Yeah, that's the mid 40s. It's not going to cut it. Tenzan beating Yoshinara Gawa, the Anaconda Vice, in 1956. Not bad at all. As a young upset, but a believable one, though. At least with uh, Tenzan and Ogawa, there are only a couple points difference between the two. Just, you know, Kojima and Fuchi is where the, the gap's at. But what a match for uh, Tenkoji there. 75 for Junakiyama Johnny Ace. is Junakiyama with a wrist clutch exploder in 20 minutes. Not bad at all. 80 for Eddie Guerrero and Siyoshi Kuchi. It's 80 with the frog splash. Great little match there. Nice little 80 and 81 for... Oh, man, they have zero chemistry. That's brutal. That's all right. That was Kawada and Hashimoto. They get the win. Hashimoto pins Vader with a jumping spike DDT. That's just tough that they have zero chemistry. Maybe him and Taui will have chemistry. Who knows? But an 88, though, for our main event of Ultimo Dragon and Akira Taui. Losing, though, to Kaiji Muda on the Great Sasuke. It's a Michinoku driver from the Great Sasuke over Ultimo Dragon. What a win for Sasuke, first of all. And, yeah, that match is going to be pretty electric. An 87. Wow. What a, what a show that was. Not bad at all. As on to night five, we go almost at the halfway point already. Just felt like we started, and now we're already halfway there. Alrighty, night five, we got a backstage incident. As Taui passing on selling tips to Masato Tanaka. Boy, what a man go made, though. Ooh. That is massive. Yeah, we just ran Chubu on uh, night two, so it looks like we're going to be going over to either the Osaka Perfectual Gym or the World Memorial Hall. I think I'll go with the World Memorial Hall in Kobe. That works for me. Uh, so the main event. As, uh, yeah, we're on to the second round of the all Asia Heavyweight Title Tournament. So we got Hashimoto and Vader. We also have this new World Order Holy Demon Army matchup. It's an eight-man tag. Probably won't be the main event, but Nagata's going to beat Ogawa. So great win for the new World Order. But yeah, Hashimoto, Vader. That could be the main, and we're going to see interference 
as Kaijumoto is going to take out Hashimoto, leading to the pinfall of Vader, so he fucks him over at the end. Tough break. Tough break indeed. As uh, El Samurai Nuki Sano. As, uh, oh wow, Seth Vicious Steeler shows Nuki Sano going to beat El Samurai. And then of course we're going to have Liger against Yamasaki, which Liger is going to beat Yamasaki. Uh, we'll bump that up a little bit. Oh yeah, Terry Funk, Big Titan against the Headhunters. As uh, the Headhunters losing though to Big Titan and Terry Funk. Great win. Or Big Titan, and as far as beating one of the head hunters, too, that's a massive win. British Combat Club against the Fighting World Choshu, six man tag. Uh, this is also set for Steel the Show, as Johnny Smith is gonna beat Tomer Ishii there in 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll, uh. Let's give this more time. I think I did this because they don't have any chemistry. I believe, no, that, that can't be right. But Nuki Sano's beaten them twice already. He beat them a lot in New Japan, so that's. Tough break. For El Samurai. Yeah, let's give him 19 minutes. Good call. Good call, good call there. Alrighty, and then the Young Lion matchups. So, oh, this is going to be tough. So obviously, we know how bad Makape is, but Azuka and Ogawa might be not too bad. Azuka's going to get the win though in 10 minutes, and then Ranigan's. We'll be beating Doki Makabe. Only two minutes. We gotta cut. Go out there. Yeah, we'll just cut her off the main. Drop her down about 21. <laughs> just, to make, just to make sure. Just in case somebody goes over. Oh, yeah, we already picked uh, the War Mower Hall. So we're gonna go. Alright. Night 5. Starting off with a 44. Not great. Doki Makabe is a 16. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. Then Ogawa cracks his tailbone. In this matchup against uh, Azuka. Azuka with the blockbuster hold. Yeah, hold the crowd again. These are the lion matches. Just not hitting. Who would guess? But 76, though, for the um, British Combat Club against the Fighting World Choshu six man. We probably could have had this higher just for how great everybody else was, but obviously Ishii and Johnny Smith. And even then, Johnny Smith usually is on his A game, but he just isn't in that matchup. But yeah, Ishii with a 21 loses to the Death Valley Bomb. Hell of a match here as a 78. That's not bad at all. It's Big Titan and Terry Funk beating the head hunters. Head hunters with 80s, though. So that's not bad at all for them. But Big Titan, big one there. Was hoping he would be back into the 70s, but it's a 66 for him. Not, not the best performance from him, but a, a good match, though. We'll take that L Samurai. Should have beat him. <laughs> Should have won the, with, uh, you know, just it sucks that he loses here because he did outperform him. Scoop Brain Buster getting the win for Nuki Sano in 18 minutes. Then 85 for Liger and Kazuya Yamasaki, the shooting star press for Liger. Dream Division's fucking stacked. As we keep it going with an 84. Not bad. Just one point below the previous matchup. But yeah, I mean, Fuchi, Taoe, Kawada, Ogawa, Kaiji Mudo, Chono, Yuji, Nagata even in the 60s. At least that's not bad at all. But you yeah, definitely, uh, Nagata was the worst guy in the matchup. But we're trying to elevate him. Getting the ones across base over Ogawa. And I think that's a major, major win. And a big win for the New World Order over the Holy Demon Army. Not bad at all. And a 78 main event as Hashimoto losing. Thanks for interference from Kaiji Mudo. As, uh, as far as Vader bomb. From Vader on Hashimoto. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, Kaiji Mudo with a chair. They had the fun. As far as uh, distraction of the rep. From one of the other members of the NWO. And Kaiji Mudo hits the chair. Or gets the chair rather than hits. Hashimoto in the head with it, leading to the Vader bomb. Solid finish. Solid finish. I mean, decent show. Obviously, if we would have had this be the main, it would have been a lot better, but... It could be worse. Could be worse indeed, as on to night six we go. Alrighty, night six. So they got us back in the Komozawa Gymnasium. Give it a rest. I guess we haven't ran there since September, but... Uh, well, we'll wait. Try to push that off as long as we can. Yeah, let's run. You know, send us on Plaza if we can. We could probably run that arena, though. It, it wouldn't be a sellout, but... Eh. Yeah, let's just run this at that on Plaza. Fine by me. No big deal. So, alrighty. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we have a Masao Wild Pegasus matchup. As well as uh, Fuchi and Terry Funk. Of course, All-Asia Heavyweight Tournament matchup there. 
then uh, Holy Divine Reaver's New World Order and a six man as well. We'll have that be the main first. Tally's gonna beat Mike Awesome. 20 minute matchup there. Then we'll add the Masawa Wild Pegasus matchup because this matchup will absolutely rule. So Masawa's gonna beat him in 20. Then we'll add Terry Funk and Fuchi, which that's gonna rule. Uh, Terry Funk's gonna beat him. 23 minutes. Battle of the Old Men there. Then we'll have Anton Spivey with Miracle Bond's connection. Hanson and Spivey will beat uh, the Miracle Bond's connection. I think that's the first time they've ever beaten him. If not, it's been the first time in a while. Yeah, first time since 94. Of course, 2v2 wise. So that's a big win. Big win. It was a 95 and then I doubt it's going to be that good now, obviously. I guess that was night 3, though. Eh. Doubt it. Oh, yeah, the, the old Japan, the old first Jacob. I was thinking the first Jacob was when we combined comedies, but I guess we didn't. I guess we did one as old Japan in 94. Revisionist history. <laughs> uh, we'll go with Blonde Bombers against Fantastics. Tag match here. Is Candido going to get the win? Okay, so we have this is Steal the Show matchup as well. Um, I guess we'll just have to be a regular matchup, and that's kind of weird. We don't need them to go all out. If we're being honest. Yeah, let's uh, turn it off the all out. Yeah, that's for the best. Uh, so then we'll have Koji Kenam. Uh, no, probably should have Shudo against Otani and Timon Honda. As uh, Timon Honda, gonna get the win. So massive win here over the Shudo team. Let's have it uh, instead of Yamasaki. Let's have that be Osama Nishimura. Yeah, I feel a little bit more confident about that. As, uh, yeah, we'll have Timon Honda beat Osama Nishimura. Hopefully that works out well. Probably won't. Who knows? But yes. So then Koji Kanamoto against Kazuki Fujita. Kanamoto's gonna get the win. And then the Golden King gonna beat Tomori Ishii. As uh, we need to also change his finish. Because I forgot to do that. After the one shell. Yes. The silver driver and the silver kick. So. Let's see. The hops over they don't already just have a golden driver. Ah, uh, yes. Gold driver. Impact. Um. I think that would be the best way difference. I usually go with the, just two classes. I think, uh, I think we'll just keep it off that because it doesn't matter about the tables and the ladders because that's not going to happen. In this save, Golden Driver has an Uber Fetish. Take that off, then the Golden Kick. Now oh, they have a Golden Drop Kick, but now nah, we'll, we will just add the Golden Kick. Oh yeah, that's anyone, anywhere type of thing. Simple enough. The golden kick. The golden driver. Real original. <laughs> Real original stuff. Oh yeah, we should be good to go. Yeah, we just... Yeah, that's all fucked up. Oh uh, yeah, and we picked... Yes, we picked uh, some plus. So we are good to go. For night six. As a golden game with a golden kick. A 60 there. For Silver. You know, if we would have seen this in their prime. Source Ishii and Silver King. This match would actually rule. It would be a lot. I don't think it wouldn't be that far-fetched though. Obviously Ishii's kind of more on a smaller size. So we could kind of have like a match against, you know, as far as Silver King. Because Silver King was fucking jacked. Especially when he was doing his uh, All Japan run of the... Early two thousands, like he was fucking jacked. That would that would have been a fun match. I've been a, like that's a, a first time. I, they might have wrestled, maybe maybe wrestled it, on like an indie in Japan, but I doubt it. He actually they might have worked in Mexico, but I actually well he was uh, Black Tiger, Torishi. Not obviously the other, but yeah, this is also two Black Tigers. <laughs> Not long enough. That's fun. What a fun match. What a fun match. It was Koji Kanemoto, though. Getting the win the Koji Clutch over Kazuki Fujita in 10 minutes. 77 for, Kodomoto, for Kanemoto and a 29 for Kazuki Fujita. Fujita hopefully will be in the 30s before we know it. Yasayama and Osama Nishimura with excellent chemistry there. So the wrong team wins. But at least Otani uh, with a 56. He's the one guy I kind of wish was uh, rocking and rolling that he's just not. 
Tactical Technician Squad a bit of a fail. We're going to be honest, but uh, there's still time. There's still time. Got the Monanda. Winning with a triangle choke was cool. And uh, the Bomb Bomb. So the Bomb Bomb Shell for Chris Candido beating the Fantastic. Decent little matchup here. 75. Got the crowd buzzing. Can't really ask for anything more. 78 for the Miracle Vines Connection against Hanson and Spivey. Pretty on brand. Pretty on brand. Uh, the wrong team wins. There is that. But Hanson hitting the Laird on Gordy. Shout out to Miracle Vines Connection. They're still pulling off some great ratings. Thanks to Dr. Death. Terry Funkamouse looks for Chi. Going 23 minutes. Both guys with 76s could have went either way. Giving it to Terry Funk, though, as he gets within the spinning toe hold in 23 minutes. 86 for Masao Wild Pegasus. Not bad at all. Masao with a Tiger Driver in 2026. Yeah, that definitely would have ruled. Especially in 1997. And the 86 as well for our main event, the Holy Demon Army. Beating the New World Order. Powie pinning Mike Awesome with a dynamic bomb. Yeah. Yeah, that match ruled. Sucks that Kawada and Hashimoto can't team, but hey, at least we know if we throw them in a six-man, they pull off some great ratings. That is for sure. Wow, what a show. I was hoping it'd be an 85+, plus, but that's okay. So yeah, we just have five more tour shows left, just uh, 7 through 11. And uh, yeah, again, you know, we, uh, we've been pretty blessed with injuries, as far as we haven't had a major injury in a hot minute. Really, the biggest one, you know, was Albright's, which he's still out for a couple of more months. But it'll be back for 1998. So that's huge for him. But yeah, on to night seven. We Alrighty, so yeah, big main event in uh, Stan Hansen and Steve Williams. And the Kent Kobashi and Dean Malenko as a co-main is going to absolutely rule. This will be at the Komozawa General, General Gymnasium for sure. Because of how big a matchup this is. But Taui's passing on psychology to Masato Tanaka. That is not bad at all. But yes. Phenomenal stuff. Oh, man. We could run the Kawasaki Civic Gymnasium, too. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, let's do that. I wish we could run the Kawasaki Stadium more often, because that's, uh, that's definitely a harken back to the 90s as far as uh, running those big shows in Kawasaki Stadium. That shit ruled. <laughs> Absolute rule. But that's okay, though. It's no big deal. Um... Trying to think. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll run the, uh, yeah, we'll run there. As, um, yeah, uh, again, main event, Stan Hansen, Steve Williams. We're gonna opt for this as the main, and not Malenko and Kobashi, but that match is going to rule as well. As Doc's gonna beat Hansen, advancing to the semifinals of the All Age Heavyweight title tournament matchup, which will mean, uh, the last quarterfinal matchup is going to be between Mike Awesome and Jun Akiyama. That's happening on night 8. Uh, but yeah, Kobashi, Dean Malenko, going to be a time limit draw. So we don't get 50-50 booking. It's a little different, but it, it's uh, under that same umbrella. So this will be Wild Pegasus instead, with Eddie Guerrero taking on Masawa and Koji Kanemoto. As Koji Kanemoto is going to beat Eddie Guerrero there in 20 minutes. Just had to <laughs> make sure we fix that. Now that makes sense. Oh, let's see here. So we've got the Holy Demon Army, um, Mike Awesome, and Nagata. So that's probably, yeah, that's Fuchi and Masato Tanaka. Well, we will add this because I love that Mike Awesome and Masato Tanaka now get to have a rivalry with the New World Order and the Holy Demon Army. So that rules. But yeah, Steal the Show matchup. This will probably be above it as uh, Dan Crawford of uh, the k Sussex is going to get the win over Big Titan in Terry Funk. That's the right decision, in my opinion. First Combat Club against Kensuke and Ricky Choshu, as that's going to be Regal and Johnny Smith, as Steven Regal's going to beat Ricky Choshu in 20 minutes. Probably giving that a little bit too much time, but it is what it is. And then we'll have Tenzan and Seokia and Kojima, oh, Kojima against Mama Yone, and Kojima's obviously going to get the win there as well. Man, we just keep on going over our time like it's nobody's fucking business. Um... Yeah, I'll just make it 2.30. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yeah, I think that's a really solid show. Obviously, with that main and co-main. Pretty sick. A 58 for the opener. Not bad. Compared to what we've usually been booking on this tour. It's Kojima being Yone with the Lariat 945. 63 for Tenzan and uh, Teokia. That's not bad at all. Teokia's gotten really good. 
really good. He's almost, I think he's just about out of his young lion phase, so that's, that's going to be nice. See, it's on. Winning with the Anaconda of Ice, though, in 936. 82 for British Combat Club against Kinsuke Sasaki. Riku Choshu as Regal. Pinning Riku Choshu with the Regal Plex. Big win over the Legend, who uh, was visibly tired and visibly off his game as well. 79, though, for Masao Fuchi and Masato Tanaka against Yuji Nagata and Mike Awesome with Masato Tanaka pinning Yuji Nagata with the Tornado DDT. Good little performance. Right team win. Helping out Masato Tanaka a lot there. Teaming up with Fuchi. Can't have Express. Beating Terry Funk and Big Titan. Decent little matchup here. Tiger Driver from uh, Dan Crawford over Big Titan. Not a bad tag match. Not bad at all. 97. Holy shit. As Masao and Kanemoto. Beating Eddie Guerrero and Wild Texas Coach Kanemoto with the moonsault over Eddie Guerrero. Of course, Black Tiger and Tiger Mask. Just unmask there. So that's fun. That's a fun match. Fun match for sure. As uh, Coach Kanemoto with a uh, solid performance. Obviously, Masao, though, head and shoulders above everybody else in that matchup. I think Kanakobashi and D. Malenko having great chemistry is such a pop. Is a 92 there. What a show this is. An 84 main event as Doc beats Hanson with the Dr. Bomb in 25-35. What a show. What, what a goddamn show. Yeah. As yeah, we could have Super Generation Army versus D. Malenko, Eddie Guerrero, and Wild Hackers. This match is till the end of time. And, and they probably rule. I, that would be such a great rivalry, obviously. But yeah, an 84. Very, very solid indeed. And there's Shabbat's dad. As, uh, yeah, on to day 8, I guess night 8 we go. We're almost at the uh, the end of the tour already. Alrighty, night 8. They got us back in Kanto with the Tally Festival on Psychology Tips to Masato Tanaka. So yes, obviously we have the Mike Awesome Junakiyama matchup, which we'll just add right now. And Junakiyama's making it to the semifinals. How about that? What a win for Mike... Or for Mike Awesome. What a win for Junakiyama. Beating Mike Awesome. That's going to be a little match, though. Yeah, this big-ass eight-man will probably be the main. Hase, Kensuke Sasaki, Masawa Kobashi against Norman Smiley, Steven Regal, Dean Malenko, Wild Texas. What a fucking eight-man that is. That match rules. Dean Malenko's going to beat Hiroshi Hase, too. So that's a nice win for Malenko and company. Yeah, just uh, love it. Absolutely love it. We'll see if Shin Yashimoto and Masato Tanaka will do a little zero-one team. <laughs> As uh, they're taking on usually the guy in Satoshi Kojima as well. Hashimoto's going to get the win because he's obviously the best guy in that matchup. But that match rules. I'm very much a fan of that match. Uh, six man here with uh, Noki Sano, Kazuya Yamasaki, and the Great Sasuke. Taking on Liger, El Samurai, and Ultimate Dragon. What a six man this is. Obviously, as far as uh, we have champion and challengers. Champion and challenger. Fun match there in, in that six man. But yes, um, I think the right team's going to win there for sure. And we're also going to have Vader and Tenzan. I love this team. As far as, far as Vader and Tenzan, the, the young bulls. Well, nah, I don't, I don't know what you call them. But they're both bulls. <laughs> Against Terry Funk and Big Titan. It's Big Titan is going to be Tenzan, though. I kind of hate that, but we're going to roll with it because I love that team. And I wish that team all, all the success in the world. As the uh, Fantastics against the Tactical Tactician Squad. As TTS is going to get the win as Otani. Getting the win. They much deserve a win there. It's uh, Masashi Aoyagi against Ogawa. little judo classic. Aoyagi's going to get the win, though. Since, obviously, Ogawa's considered a young line. And then Jericho's going to beat Machizuki. To kick off the show. What a show. Right at 152. Perfect. Fucking perfect. Um, Trying to think. I think we've ran everywhere. Yes. Everywhere that we can. Looks like it's back to square one. Uh, we'll just run Chuku, actually. We'll just go to night two. Well, won't really be a sellout, so maybe not. I guess Hiroshima Sun Plaza, or... Yeah, we'll just run the Nakajima Sports Center. That's probably for the best. This is actually a really fun show, though. Um, I'm trying to think if we should have this be higher. I kind of think it should. I, we, I honestly think we can get it, get away with it with it being a cool name. Really do. We'll see. See if I'm correct on that one. It's Jericho beating Machizuki with a Lion Tamer. He's been just fantastic. Obviously, Jericho and 67 there is not bad at all. Aoyagi's going to beat Ogawa in 10 minutes with a submission. They should have just opened up the show, but that's okay. 73 for TTS against the Fantastics. Otani pinning Jackie Fulton with the Dragon Suplex. 
Not bad. Yeah, Bob Fulton's still killing it. Otani, though, was uh, the worst guy in the match, so that sucks. But no, Tanaka didn't do that bad with uh, his swollen calf muscle. He still was the second best guy in the match. Fun six man, though. 79 for Vader in Tenzon. Since Big Tight and Terry Funk. Boy, Vader. He's falling off a cliff. Hopefully, it's stamina. Yeah, no, he's declining physically, of course. Of course, he is. Of course, he is. Yeah, that, I mean, he has fallen right off the cliff. A big Titan, though, pinning Tenzon with the Exploder. I mean, the right team won. Terry Funk was the best guy in the match by far. Big Titan was off his game, and he still almost outperformed Tenzon. Not bad at all. 79 for Shinya Shimoto and Masi... Oh, I said Masi or Chono. Shinya Shimoto and Masato Tanaka. As uh, they beat the Satoshi Kojima... The Satoshi Kojima, rather, and Yuji Nagata team. The Jumping Spike DT for Hashimoto in 20 minutes. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Nice little team of uh, Masato Zaka and Hashimoto and obviously Kojima and Yuji Nagata with the New World Order. is pretty fun. 79 for Mike Awesome and Junakiyama. Junakiyama was... Off his game, gets outperformed, but flew Thunder Bomb from Junakiyama over Mike Awesome. You love to see it. Junakiyama making it to the semifinals. That rules. And 80 for the six man. Got the crowd buzzing as uh, we have Sasuke, Kazuya Yamasaki, and Yuki Sano losing to the Ultimo Dragon. Jushin Thunder Liger, El Samurai team. Definitely the right decision there, as obviously the Ultimo Dragon Liger team. Talk about a dream team there, obviously, and. Yeah, again, Junior Division just rules. Nothing more you can say about it. And the 86th for our main event. As uh, Masawa, Dean Malenko, Steven Regal, Kendo Kobashi, and Norman Smalley all killing it. Even Kinsuke and uh, Roshi Asi, Wild Pegasus, you know, 76 and 77. So they're not bad at all. Dean Malenko, though, with the Texas Cloverleaf over Hase. Love it. Absolutely love it. Fuck yeah. That's an 85. For that show, not bad at all. So, yeah, we just have uh, three more tour shows left. 9, 10, and 11. And we are just rolling right, right along. We are uh, riding the wave. We've had a lot of great shows this tour. This has been a lot of fun to see. Uh, I think the New World Order, you know, as far as really their first full-on tour, I think it's probably been a success besides the negative chemistry for Kawada and Hashimoto. Other than that, I mean, just the... Sheer, well, that's, you know, obviously for the Holy Demon Army side, but for the New World Order side of things, being able to have Nagata, Kojima, and Tenzan team with some really, really special talents, it's helped them out a lot. It's helped them out a lot for sure. As on to Night 9, we go. Alrighty, so Night 9, they keep on wanting us to run the Komozawa Gymnasium. Not happening. As, uh, yeah, thinking might just have to be, oh, no, we can run the Nagata City Gymnasium. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty, so, yeah, the semifinals, as far as uh, Big Van Vader, Terry Funk, of course, the winner goes to the finals with this win here, so we'll add that first. And it will be Big Van Vader beating Terry Funk in 23 minutes. This has been a hell of a tour for Vader. He's worked a lot, and we've seen him kind of down, uh, as far as go down, as far as with the physical um, decline, and also just all around, I think, just at his age. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Holy Demon Army, New World Order, Six Man. We'll add that first. As Kojima's going to beat Masato Tanaka. So, nice win for the New World Order. But, yeah. I think this will be the co-main. Maybe not, though. I don't know. It's tough. Because Masao and Kinemoto, they have the excellent chemistry. And we don't know how Chono and Mike Osmo are going to do. And they're going to beat uh, Koji Kinemoto. And, uh, I, I don't know about all that, actually. I, uh... Yeah, let's have Mike Osmo. Uh, Ma uh, yeah, let's have Masao beat... Mike Awesome. I think that's the right call. Nice little audible call there. I think that's the right decision. Um, but man, it's tough because I don't think it's going to be better than any of those matches. So I think that's that is the lay the layout for this card. So we got Kobashi and Kikuchi against Steve Williams and Taz. As uh, Sierra Kikuchi is going to beat Taz there in twenty minutes. So Dox and Agent the B Saido. Then uh, Damian Vampiro against the Fantastics, which this will be a steal the show matchup, and the and, uh, Vampiro Damian team will get the win. Poor Fantastics just keep on losing. So yeah, now we have three on the card matches. The first one, though, you know, Brad Armstrong and Psychosis will rule as Brad Armstrong is going to get the win. 
and then Tommy Rogers is going to beat Machizuki, which is a nice win for the Fantastics. At least they win something that Darren Prophet will be beating Kazuki Fujita. And that is night nine in the books. See how we do it. And it's a 69 for the opener. Not bad at all. Dan Crawford, of course, is the man with an 80. Gets a win for Tiger Driver. Not bad at all. 55, though, for Tommy Rogers and Machizuki. That sucked. That's Tommy Knocker and Tommy Rogers. Yeah, he's falling off a cliff a little bit. Is he also going? No. It's just uh, Machizuki's just inexperienced. Needs more experience out there. It's Brad Armstrong beating uh, Seacosis with the side rush and leg sweep. Nice match, though. Nice little matchup at 9.50. I bet this happened on Nitro. <laughs> just, uh, that seems like a very 96-97 Nitro match. They just throw it out there. Nah, it probably happened on, like, a Worldwide. Uh, but yeah, Damien and Vampiro beating the Fantastics. It's Vampiro and Bobby Fulton doing really good there. 74 and 72. Actually, the, the wrong team won. Should have been the Fantastics because Damien was off his game. That's kind of the rules. Shout out the Fantastics. Killing it. 79 for Ken, uh, for Kendall Kobashi and Seosha Kuchi against Steve Williams and Taz. Right call here is Kikuchi pitting Taz in 20 minutes. 1935 to be exact. But sold out crown in the Goddess City gymnasium. Getting a pretty solid show so far. 79 for Vader over Terry Funk. Yeah, Vader with a 65. Boy, he is the shits. 87 though for Masao and Kenamoto against Mike Awesome and Shono. Right call. He had to change that up. Switch it to the audible. Masawa beating Mike Awesome, the Tiger Driver. You love to see Super Generation Army getting a win, as well as nice to see. And at 81, probably should have said that be the main event instead, but uh, it is what it is. Kojima with the Koji cut over Masato Tanaka in uh, 20 minutes, getting the win. So at least the Nord Order goes out on top at the end of the show. But yeah, pretty brutal. As far as with Kaiji Mudo, uh, you know, as far as best guy in the match by far. Fujita's kind of behind him. Not, uh, I mean, it's a 10-point difference, but still, just kind of behind him. It's crazy that uh, Tenzan and Kojima both were better than Masato Tanaka again. Really wish Tanaka could get his shit together, but he was off his game, though. There is that. A bit of a step back can, uh, compared to what we've usually been doing as of late, but we've uh, we've had to hit a plateau eventually, and that's fine. You know, as far as now we're at the double-digit point, we just have our two tour shows left, and we should be good to go. All right, he has a backstage incident. I bet it... Oh, it's Taz staying Anson, rather. Okay, so Taz brought before Russell's Corey Kuzo fan to pick up his share of the tab. At the bar, as the judge stands, if I don't get the incident, if I drink some after the show, it'll be a major tab. That is for sure. So we have Steve Williams and Jun Akiyama. The winner takes on Vader at the final show. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and add that match while I'm thinking about it. As Jun Akiyama's gonna have the upset of upsets beating Steve Williams here. Steve's beaten them every single time they faced off against each other, and that's been the past two years of the Champion Carnival, besides this year. And, uh, yeah, major win. Major win for Jun Akiyama. I can't believe Steve Williams is not even going to complain about it. What a legend. New World Order versus Super Generation Army, six-man tag. Uh, that, that, I like this a lot better. Yeah, have Kaiji Muto, Chono, and Mike Awesome win the six-man. I like this. I'm glad we made the switch. But yeah, Kaiji Muto, major win there. Uh, so then we're also going to have... Ultimo Dragon take on Two Cold Scorpio and the Great Sasuke take it on the Golden King as well. We'll add this match first, I guess. Ultimo Dragon and Two Cold Scorpio. Uh, Ultimo Dragon gonna get the win in 18 minutes. And then the Blonde Crushers take it on uh, Rick Joshu and Kashinaka as Kandio's gonna get the win in 10 minutes. This match might suck, but we'll add it anyways. Uh, then the Great Sasuke versus Golden King. This match will actually be really good as Sasuke is going to get the win. Junior Champion though, and that's the first loss for the Golden King. Wanted to kind of cut that out early, you know, because sometimes we kind of have guys going on a bit of a winning streak. Think, you know, he, he won a, his fair share of matches, but now it's time to kind of settle down and uh, lose to the champion, too, so it's not that big of a deal. So Terry Gordy and Taz against Flash and Smash. Taz is going to beat Brian Atkins. First of all, major win for Taz. Uh, second of all, that might be an okay matchup. We, we, uh, we shall see. It's Vader and Ogawa. So Ogawa's injured, but he's going to lose to Vader there, and then Big Titan's going to beat Togi Makabe. As uh, hopefully Togi Makabe stops being a piece of shit. But I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Now let's just run the star lanes. Because I know we'll sell that out. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and run that now. For night 10. The 56 for Big Titan and Togi Makabe. Exploder for uh, Big Titan. At least he does well. But yeah, Togi Makabe, not the greatest. 62 for Big Van Vader and Ogawa. Yeah, Ogawa now slowed down by the injury. But... Does a, I mean, 
could have been worse. 62, I'll, I'll take it for the uh, opening two matches of Young Lion matches. But uh, Terry Gordy and Taz beating Scott Norton and Brian Renegans. It was very, very close, but the right team wins. It's Taz with the Kata Jame, the 53. We probably should have pulled the plug on Taz a while ago, but that's okay. It's the Golden King losing to the Great Sasuke. Michinoku Driver pinning Golden King in 1933. Not bad at all. For the great Sasuke. 75 for Choshu and Kashinaka against Johnny Ace and Chris Candido. Whole lot of bullshit here, but we managed to somehow come out on top. It's Candido with the blonde bombshell over Kashinaka. What a performance from Candido, though. Massive. Got the crowd buzzing, too. 84 for Tuko Scorpio and Ultimo Dragon. Dragon Sleep from Ultimo Dragon. He's the man. We keep it rolling with a 93 of the six man matchup. This should have probably been the main. As Super Generation Army losing to the New World Order. Kaiji Mudo pinning. Koji Kanemoto with a moonsault. You gotta love that battle with the moonsaults there between Kanemoto and Kaiji Mudo. But yeah, that's a massive win for Kaiji Mudo. And uh, yeah, loving it. Absolutely loving it. What a six man matchup. New World Order, Super Generation Army. Just uh, another wrinkle as far as being able to have those great matches. But Doc and Jun Akiyama with a 89. That's a hell of a match. Doc got performance, but Jun Akiyama with a 77. So it's respectable. Upset, not the greatest of upsets, but a respectful one, almost uh, in the 10-point category. But uh, yeah, Blue Thunder Bomb for Jun Akiyama. Kind of wish we hit him with a Super Blue Thunder Bomb. That'd kind of be sick. <laughs> Do one from the second rope like a madman, but what a match. What a show. Not bad at all. 93, though, for that New World Order Super Generation Army matchup. I cannot wait to see how Kaiji Mudo and Tawei does, because that should be a banger, that main event, which we're almost there. Almost at the finals already, as we have our final tour show now, Night 11, on the horizon. And, uh, you know, as far as, as long as somebody gets hurt, I will say this has been a successful tour. Uh, just hopefully, fucking knock on wood, fingers crossed, whatever you gotta do, that nobody gets hurt on this final show, so we can have a great tour. Alrighty, as a backstage incident, it's Tao again passing on Psychology to Masato Tanaka. Obviously, with no tournament matches, I'm really not sure what's gonna be the main... Guess, uh, maybe this Junok, well, probably, yeah, probably the Holy Demon Army. Big-ass 10-man. Yeah, Holy Demon Army, New World Order, 10-man tag. Tawai's gonna get the win, so the challenger going into the final night with a major win. Doesn't really matter who he beats. I'm kind of hoping it's Kojima or Tenzan, but it, I, I really don't matter. I, as long as it's not Kaiji Mudo, but even then, I'll be okay with it. Uh, so we got... Yeah, this Junakiyama, Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro versus Big Man, Vader, Two Cold Scorpio, and the Great Sasuke. Love this, because obviously uh, Vader and Two Cold Scorpio are great friends and have teamed in Japan. Obviously not during this time, but uh, in Noah after the 2000s. But yeah, that's a fun little six-man here. Super Astro is going to be Two Cold Scorpio. A nice little win for Super Astro. Uh, it depends on when Los Pavano is uh, which here. I'm assuming, yeah, it's uh, Kento Kobashi, Masao, and Koji Ganamoto against the Headhunters and Vampiro. What a six man, first of all, but uh, let's have uh, Koji Ganamoto beat Vampiro. Kind of like that a little bit more than having the Headhunters lose. Just kind of fits us better, I think. Yeah, then Los Pavano against he uh, Hayabusa and Jinsei Shizaki. Yes, Damian Psychosis. Against uh, Hayabusa and Jinsei Shinzaki. Give him the win to Jinsei Shinzaki. I love that. He needs a win. Uh, this match rules, though. Dean Malenko and Wild Pegasus against the KM Express. Nice little win there from Dean and uh, Chris. As Wild Pegasus is going to get the win. We'll bump that up to here. <laughs> nice little one spot leap. Uh, then. So I guess we'll go with Nagata and Manabu Nakanishi. So Nagata's going to get the win over Manabu Nakanishi. Uh, then Eddie versus Teokia. So Eddie's going to get the win, obviously. And then Sayama against Machizuki, which I believe that's the first time. Oh, no. They uh, faced off against each other at the Super Power Series in 97. Earlier this year in May. Uh, but yeah, what a show. Very, very top-heavy. I don't know why. About to say, I should just change that so it's not so big, the, the text. But yeah, super, super excited to see how this plays out. I think we will be running... The Tomosawa Gym, uh, General Gymnasium here, just to kind of hit all the small little gymnasiums we can in Kanto going into the final show. Because obviously we'll sell it to Tokyo Dome pretty much no problem. As Sayama's going to beat Machizuki with the diving headbutt in 10 minutes. 
Not bad at all for Sayama. Not bad at all. 71, though, for Eddie and Teokia. Teokia is almost in the 50s. It's a good sign. As uh, Eddie Guerrero with the Corey Special in 1025. Not bad at all. Yuji Nagata beating Manabu Naganichi with the Brain Buster. I would love to see that. <laughs> That's a big ass guy to be hitting a Brain Buster on. But a nice win for Blue Justice as Hayabusa. I guess you could say Black Justice now, since he's in the NWO, as Hayabusa. Getting a, a major performance there with an 85, but Jensei Shinzaki was the best guy. Uh, oh, he outperformed at least Damien on Psychosis. So that's a, a nice win for Jensei Shinzaki. And awesome. Awesome to see Hayabusa and Jensei Shinzaki turn into a hell of a little junior tag team. Goddamn, a 92 for Dean and Chris against the Can-Am Express Wild Bomb for Wild Pegasus over Doug Furness. Goddamn. That tag match against Kobashi Masawa is going to absolutely rule. Boy, oh boy. 85 for the Super Generation Army against the Headhunters and Vampiro Los Profano. It's Koji Kanemoto with a Koji Clutch over Vampiro. I think that was the right call. Good little six-man, though. Good little six oh my god. Well, speaking of good little six-mans, this is a 94. And uh, Junakiyama, he outperformed Vader. Did not see that coming. Uh, before this tour, definitely when I saw that coming. But Ultimate Dragon for the 93. Great Sasuke with the 83. 82 for Super Astro. Gets one with the Astro Scissors over to Cold Scorpio. Love it. In an 84 for the main event. Kind of missed the mark compared to the previous matches. But that's again Masato Tanaka's fault mainly. With his 59. But the Dynamic Bomb from Taui over Tenzan. Major win. What a 10-man tag though. And to see... The new variation of the Holy Demon Army with Hashimoto in there now. It's given them a lot of strength as far as I would say. It's crazy because he was the best guy in the match for the Holy Demon Army. So that just shows you how much he's elevated that group. and Awesome. Awesome. A whole nother wrinkle to the New World Order story. What a show. I mean, obviously the main event doesn't deliver thanks to the co-main out getting, you know, outperforming it. So was this Pegasus Dean Malenko can am Express matchup. But all the... All, all, all in all, though, I'm super pleased with that tour show because out of the you know the 65 and the 57, you know, we got a 71, a 78, 84, 85, and a 92, 94. That is not bad at all, especially going into the final show of the tour. Man, oh man, can't believe we made it. And not only made it, I think we thrived throughout that entire tour. We've seen a lot of positives from seeing uh, Hashimoto join the Holy Demon Army, and we're seeing that the New World Order... Or a force to be reckoned with, that is for sure, in UJPW. As on to the finals, we got... Alrighty, the October Giant Series 1997 comes to a conclusion here. Boy, what a card that was last year, holy shit. Ooh, Liger and Malenko, Muda and Hashimoto, how funny how things change. Doc and Kawada. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Hell of a show. Oh, oh, and then Kobashi Masawa. The main event of the 95 Giant Series. And then there was, uh... The rematch, as far as that was the rematch. And then the uh, first time, I believe, we booked it. I want to say this was the first time. For the uh, the time limit draw. And then Dean Malenko and Ultimo Dragon as well. Terry Funk and Cactus Jack on that card, man. Yeah, these October Giants... Oh my god, yeah, and then Jumbo and Masawa was a 99... We try to make these a big fucking deal. Yeah, and then that was really the first big show. Because, yeah, the first episode, obviously, was the Summer Action Series 2, which was okay. But it, it wasn't this. This was the first time it was in the 85-plus category. And, yeah, Jumbo and Taui. Funks as well. It's crazy. You know, like, Obashi Kikuchi, obviously, still, still here. And, you know, Dean and, and Ogawa still here. Can't even express his Miracle Lines connection. Still here. Fuchi, not Joe Malenko though. I might even know he's gone. So is Andre. <laughs> Bob is basically not a worker. Kabuki's gone. Pete Roberts is gone. Craig Norman's on the free show. Him and Candido, obviously still here. El Morris, the only guy left in that match. That's actually not that too bad. Usually we have quite the bit of um, overhaul throughout the years, but for uh, five years ago, that is not so bad. Not bad at all. Napoleon TV, Telemundo, Max Agents, as a Chunji Takano, as he uh, gave the locker room a lift when he unveiled a series of spot on impressions of some of his colleagues. Fuck yeah. 
Gotta do something back there. <laughs> Might as well do something. Might as well. So obviously the main event will be Kaiji Muto Kirtawe. But we also, I wanna, you know, make sure we're in the Tokyo Dome. feel like I'm cheating if I don't uh, pick the Tokyo Dome. But Kaiji Muto will retain major win for the New World Order. Massive. Massive victory there. Ultimo Dragon, the great Sasuke. Ultimo Dragon is the new Junior Heavyweight Champion. Major win for Ultimo Dragon. So at least we have a new champion there. And that should be a hell of a match too. Then the tag team matchup. Dean Malenko, Wild Texas, Masao and Kobashi. One of these prizes is a 99, but Kobashi is going to get the win. 26 minute matchup. Banger. Absolute banger. Then the All Asia Heavyweight Tournament Final Matchup. Big Van Vader is going to beat Junakiyama. So he it does, in fact, still win that All Asia Heavyweight title. It just, uh, he actually earns it this time around. Even though he's not actually going to earn it, because he's probably going to get outperformed by Jun Akiyama. That's another story. For another time. Hase and Kinsuke Suzaki against the British Combat Club in the rain comes to an end. As, uh, as far as a, a look back, yeah, 363 days. So technically, well, I guess, you know, as far as a normal calendar year, it wouldn't be a year. But obviously in the TW world, where it's just your 28-day week, your 28 uh, days uh, per month, rather, schedule. It is a full year and a little bit of change to extra an extra month on top of that. Man, you know, what a run, though. Five defenses, too, and I just tied... Actually, yeah, tied for the most since Jumbo and Fuchi. That's pretty crazy. And also tied for Kobashi and Kikuchi. It's kind of wild. There hasn't been an All-Asia Everwitch... Or, All-Asia Tag Team Champion, rather. that hasn't had more than six defenses, but... Uh, Kensuke and Roshi, I say that will be their second reign as all Asia Tag Team Champions. But what a run, first of all. That's an incredible run that the British Combat Club have had. And excited to see where they go from there. Because that should be a banger. The 10-man tag of Holy Demon Army of Hashimoto, Kawada, Fuchi, Tanaka, and Ogawa against Shono, Mike Austin, Yuji Nagata, Hiroshi Tenzan, and Satoshi Kojima as the New World Order will win this match as well. Yuji Nagata will be beating Masato Tanaka in 20 minutes. Big night for the NWO. Junior tag team title matchup. Yamasaki and Yuki Sano losing to El Samurai and Jushin Liger. Nice little win for the recently crowned champs. Then the eight man of Terry Funk, Big Titan, Scott Norton, and Brad Armstrong. Taking on Los Bravano as Headhunter A will be beating Scott Norton in the opener. Super excited. Super pumped. And I think this is a great show to end out going into the tag league, you know, our kind of last big show of the year, and I think it will exactly be that, a big-ass show. The 78 for the opener. Brad Armstrong with an 83, Terry Funk with an 86, Vampir with an 84, not bad there, performances from the Gaijins. Everybody in this match is a Gaijin, so I guess that's easy to say as far as everybody doing well. Uh, but yeah, Diving Life dropped from Headhunter A onto Scott Norton. I think that was the right call. Scott Norton, unfortunately, 67. Not great. Not great. 96. Jesus Christ. So the junior tag team matchup of uh, Shudo and El Samurai and, and uh, Jushin Liger. Yamasaki was clearly the the uh, worst guy in the match, but that's not bad, though. He was off his game. He, got, he had a 78. I mean, you have a 96, a 90, and a 91. That junior division is stacked. Absolutely stacked. 85 for the 10-man. As Yuji Nagata pinning Masato Tanaka. Yuji Nagata with a 72. 66 for Masato Tanaka. As uh, Kojima with a 63, 68 for Tenzan. Not the greatest of ratings, but obviously once you see like Hashimoto, Kawada, uh, Masanofu Chi, Chono, and, and Mike Awesome even, to a degree, and Ogawa to a degree. It's a solid little show. A uh, solid little show. Solid little match. Yuji Nagata, uh, Nagata the winning with the Brain Busters fun. Fun to see. Uh, 99 for the British Combat Club and Hiroshi Ase and Kensuke Sasaki. Listen, that team... And Stephen Regal and Norman Smiley's unreal. <laughs> They're unreal. But what a performance. What a match. Tase pinning Stephen Regal's Northern White Suplex as well. And they are the new All Asia Tag Team Champions. 83 for Big Van Vader and Jun Akiyama. I cannot believe Jun Akiyama was that fucking close to being the All Asia Heavyweight Champion while also outperforming Vader. Not a bad match, though. It could have been a lot better, obviously, but lack of psychology kind of hurt a little bit. But at least they delivered. A lot bigger than I thought they would, but yeah, it was still a great performance. 
And we have our new All-Age Heavyweight Champion. It is indeed Big Van Vader. Yeah. 99, let's go Bashi with 100. D. Malenko with a 97. 99 for Masao and a 92 for Wild Pegasus. Nothing more you could really ask for there, as Masao and Kobashi make their first defense of their Unified World Tag Team title reign. Kobashi with a Brain Buster over Wild Pegasus. Hell of a match. Hell of a match. There's a 90 for Ultimo Dragon, the Great Sasuke. Only a point difference. That's not bad at all. Ultimo Dragon winning the Junior Heavyweight title. Wins the Dragon Sleeper. 24-36. Hell of a match there. And a new reign is a 99 for the main event. As the Unified Grand Heavyweight Champion... Kaiji Muda winning with the Moonsault in 32-21, and he is still on top of the UJPW Mountaintop. Love it. 98 for the show. Uh, 399s. Probably had a real good chance at 100 if uh, D. Malenko and Eddie Guerrero... All right, that's a D. Malenko and Eddie Guerrero. D. Malenko and Wild Pegasus were just a little bit better, but that's okay. All around, I mean, three out of the five... Or three out of the six title matches... Were 99s and really five out of the six were 90 and above. Really can't ask for anything more. Yeah, I mean, Kobashi had a hundred, so I feel like we should put him over. I'm gonna put over Kaishimoto as well because he did a lot of the heavy lifting in that main event. And uh, I think who else? Who else deserves some love here? Uh, you know, we'll give Junakiyama a hug. Listen, he had a big-time moment. Big-time singles match in the finals of a title tournament matchup. Comes up short, but there's still better things to come for that young man. There in Junakiyama, Uncle June will be just fine. As I will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching the October Giant Series. As we made it throughout the tour. No major injuries going into the tag league. And boy, what a tag league that shall be. That one, Sal and Kobashi as the champions going in. Boy, oh boy, they have a big-ass target on their back. You got Wild Pegasus D. Malenko looking for some revenge. You have the former All-Asia Tag Champs and British Combat Club looking to get a major win. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got the new champs and Hase and Kensuke Sasaki looking to prove a point. Potentially, Taui and Kawada as well. I'm assuming Kaiji Mudo and Masuyo Chono are going to be in there as well. So just uh, an unreal, just with those teams I just listed off, uh, that's going to be a jam-packed, jam-packed real-world tag league, that's for sure. As we will catch you guys for that next time. Take care, everyone.